Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I'm gonna bring you a haul from Blick and kind of give you some ideas and reasons why I purchased what I purchased and my plans for them in the future, etc. If you wanna see reviews or demos done with any of these things, be sure and leave me comments in the comment section below. I'm happy to do it. I really enjoy doing it and yeah. So the first thing I got is some pastel paper from Strathmore. I really have been enjoying my pastel paper from Mutant, from Canson. And this is just another kind of pastel paper. This is an 11 by 14. These are 80 pounds. Uh, Mutant is 98 pounds. Wait. And it also comes with six different colors, uh, four sheets of each. So I'm really excited to try that. Then I got a new water brush. I've been using the Royal and Langnickel little three-piece set you buy for like six dollars at Hobby Lobby. And it worked out okay in the beginning, but I have one brush that is, I call it Mr. Leaky Brush because he leaks everywhere and he's very aggravating and so, uh, but anyway, so I was like, I just decided to bite the bullet and it looks like, you know, this looks like the most well-made brush I saw on there, to be honest. Um, it's very heavy plastic. It was the most expensive. It's got a little push button. I've seen several people use this. I wanted to try it. So, and I had a coupon. So that makes it a little more fun. Next, I don't know how many of y'all are into collage, decoupage, all the age, or paper crafting. But um, Black Ink is a company uh, that makes an international company that makes paper. They call themselves Creative International Papers. Uh, Black Ink, Creative International Papers. That's what it says underneath there. But I really like the papers. I thought they were beautiful. They have some great designs. And I like the collage, but I wasn't quite ready to make that investment because it's like anywhere from like $3.99 to $9.99 a sheet. And if you order from Blick or Jerry's or Cheap Joe's or any of them, you have to order 10 sheets. Now granted the sheets are 22 by 30, you gotta order 10 sheets. And if on average the price is $5.99, that's a $60 investment. And I kinda thought I would like it, but I have, I'm have i really hesitant to make a $60 investment. So on paper like that. So when I saw they had the alternatives and have what they call scrap packs, I was like, yeah. Now it will say in the description that every scrap pack is different because what they do is when they're done cutting the paper, any scraps left over go in scrap packs. So every scrap pack is slightly different. And the scrap pack that was shown on the sample is not the one you're gonna receive, it's not the one I received. And I saw a lot of people write kind of like negative reviews on the scrap pack because of that. And I'm like, dude, it's a scrap pack. The other thing is, they said that the size of the papers were too small. And I'm like, again, dude, it's called a scrap pack. So I'm really happy with what I got. Some people were also felt like they should have gotten pattern paper and again, it's a scrap pack. You're never going to know. It's whatever they're cutting that day. So this one actually has patterns. It's beautiful. Can you see all the texture in some of these? This one is mostly solids. And again, it's all different kinds of paper. I'm so excited to collage with this and then paint over and see what happens and just get all that texture from it. I think these are going to be super, super, like, fabulous. Next thing I got is from Caran d'Ache. These are some open stock Caran d'Ache watercolor crayons. I got 11. So these 10 would be in the spring limited edition set available on Blick. However, when I went to purchase these and use a coupon, the coupon did not apply to the limited edition 10 piece set. And it did apply to open stock. So I was like, well, that's ridiculous because it was cheaper to just buy 10 open stock. And then I happened upon this color called and I'm sure I'm not going to say it right, but I think it's called Gentian Blue, G-E-N-T-I-A-N. -E so, and I was like, ooh, I need that too. So, it actually worked out cheaper to buy these 11 colored crayons than it would have to just buy the box of 10. So, I'm happy with that. And I already have some open stock Caran Wash color crayon, watercolor crayons I really like. The next thing I purchased is from Derwent. I love Derwent. You know it. I know it. We know. It's a great brand. So these are the metallic pencils. I have had my eye on these for literally years, literally years, but they're $30 retail. And in general on Blick, they've been $15. Coupons don't apply to these. Let me just go ahead and say that. Coupon did not apply to this, but it was $9.38. And I was like, that's never gonna be that low again. I gotta have it. 
So for under $10, I picked it up. Now this is a water soluble metallic pencil, but I didn't buy this and I've never wanted this to use with water. And that's probably a good thing because after seeing Lindsay the Frugal Crafters uh, water media review, she talks about these. She says they're great metallic pencil, but when you wet, when you add water to it, it the color just goes away. It's gone. The, the metallic shine is, is just gone. I didn't buy this for that. I bought these because I wanted a metallic type pencil, pencil and I wanted a rainbow of colors. And there are a lot of colors in here. So I'm very excited to have this and I look forward to trying it and playing with it. The next thing I got is more acrylic markers. Mwahahahaha! I love my acrylic paint markers. You know it. This is Montana. So this is the 12th piece. This is set B. They have set A, set B, and then they have metallic set. I got the fine. You can get it in fine, extra fine. I don't know if you can get it in the large nib. I'll show you the size of the nib. This is what they call the 2 millimeter marker set. Um, it just comes with this round nib. You know I hate these. I hate these nibs. I do. I hate them. I don't like them. I much prefer a chisel nib or something else, which is why when I had the option, I bought some chisel nibs to replace them with. These are the chisel nibs that go in them. And then also they happen to have at the exact same time, they had some in stock. They had replacement. They had calligraphy nibs for the same size. And I was like, oh, I've got to get that. That just sounds awesome. So I picked up calligraphy nibs. I have calligraphy nibs for the extra fine, which is, um, the extra fine point on the Montana markers is 0.7 millimeters. So if you're a watercolor artist or you work in in in, in uh, crafts or anything where you're mixing water with stuff, maybe look at getting like a Montana uh, extra fine black marker even or brown because they do have it in multiple colors. Like I think they have a few shades of brown. I know this is one. Here and I've got it in. I got this set comes with black and gray too, so it does come in gray. But you can get it in extra fine, which is a 0.7 millimeter tip, and you can buy replacement tips and you can buy like replacement ink cart not ink cartridges, but replacement uh, marker ink for it. And the great thing about these is they're light fast, they're archival, they're waterproof what when it dries and it doesn't take long for the acrylic ink in these these marker acrylic inks to dry at all like fast so if you're looking for something new to try outlining with maybe give the extra fine montana acrylic marker a shot because that 0.7 millimeter tip is really tiny and i i think some of you guys would would really enjoy that just the next thing i got is this is from eco house i've been wanting this for probably six months or more I've been looking for an alternative to Zestit that's available here in the US. I know there is one company online, or one company that you can buy it from, but you can't order it online. You have to call them and you have to get them to ship it and charge your card over the phone and all that jazz. Uh, eh, eh, you know what I mean? So I Googled it and I came up on a colored pencil form with a thread. And this is what was recommended by a few colored pencil artists. This is the Eco House extra mild citrus thinner number 115 they do have multiple numbers so you want to make sure you're getting the extra mild citrus thinner number 115 this was four dollars i had a coupon i think it was six before i'm really excited to try it if you read the instructions when you read the ones for odorless mineral spirits even turpenoid and turpentine you need to be in a well ventilated area this one it just says extra mild low toxicity solvent thinner and brush Basically, it says you have to have adequate ventilation, which means if you're in a room like this, your living room, or like a room room, not like a, but like a good size room with decent, like regular, like ventilation, this is going to be fine. So this is a good option. It is toxic if you drink it. It is made from orange peel oil. Yeah, orange peel oil. And it definitely smells like oranges, so it can get a little on the orange side if you know, you know, it's pretty strong orange scent. So if you don't like that, it's probably not for you. But I think it's, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good alternative for me to use instead of odorless mineral spirits. And the next item I got, I'm excited about. I'm excited about all my items. So this is from TriArt. TriArt is a Canadian brand, and I haven't gotten anything from them before, but I really, they have some things I really want to try. But 
I got this as the Tri Art Gesso Sludge. So I'm just going to read you what they say. So Tri Art Gesso Sludge is made from recycled pigments harvested from our washing process. It is an excellent barrier ground with the same flexibility, strength, and adhesion qualities as a finest grade gesso. Each batch will vary in tint and granular content, which makes sense if you think about it because basically they're recycling their leftover pigments from when they washed and harvested and made like paint or whatever. And so they're all some shade of gray, but the tint of the gray is going to change. So it could be warmer, it could be cooler, slightly bluer, slightly redder, whatever. But what I was really excited about this about it is that it's gray. So it's basically like you're priming your canvas and you're toning it at the same time. I love that idea. I, that's brilliant. And for all those hippie tree huggers out there, this is probably a good alternative for you to try. It's pretty reasonably priced. I've also read that this is a very liquidy gesso, which personally is what I like. I really am excited to try this because it's toned already. The next thing I got is from Krita Color. So I don't know if my water media review for Krita Color is up or not, but I got a Krita Color Water Media 10. I think that's what they call it. And it had like four or five different Krita Color water, water media products, basically. One of those being the Aqua Stick, which is a water soluble, artist grade oil pastel. What? Yeah, exactly. Awesome, right? Need I say more? Probably not, but I'm going to. So I'm really excited. This is the metallic set. I really love metallics. I'm sure you've gathered that with the metallic pencils already, but I love Krita Color. I think it's a really good brand. I think it doesn't get enough love as often as it probably should. It's an Austrian brand. It's been around for a couple hundred years. These are the metallics. One reason I really like these is that you can layer on these. So. I watched a water media review by Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and she talked about the portfolio by Crayola. She says she really likes them, but the thing is they have to be used as a finishing layer because they are so heavy that if you put stuff on top of them that they just kind of, it's not going to stick. With these, I can tell you that I have, and it may be just that I do really thin washes of it, I don't know, may I, you know but I've been able to layer on them. So I like that and I get a lot of that satisfaction of the swooshiness. Swooshy. These are a little harder than a traditional oil pastel. That's the way I would put this. These are a little harder, but they're definitely that waxy, that waxy, that oily consistency. Oh, I can't talk. That oily consistency that you expect from an oil pastel, but it's definitely harder than a traditional oil pastels. Oil pastels are pretty soft. What I really think is cool about these is here. This is from my Water Media 10 set. It's got the light fast rating written right on the stick. That's really nice. My understanding, uh, Karen Dosh watercolor crayons are wax based. So we're two different beasts, but part of the same animal, uh, sort of. It's wax based, but they I'd like them if they had the, the, the light fast rating on the crayon. I don't think it does. Karandoff crayon does not have the, uh, Karandoff crayon doesn't have the light fast rating on the actual stick. I like that. I'm weird like that. I enjoy seeing it. So it just makes me happy. But I, so I, I really like that. And I like the consistency of these. These are, like I said, these are oily, like feeling. And so they're, they're, I mean, they're oil, but they're much harder than a traditional oil pastel. I think, I think they are, um, you know, they're harder than my Mumio oil pastels, the little metallic ones I've got. They're harder than the ones I, I had as a kid. Um, but I like these cause you can layer on top of these and I've layered on top of these with the Merino, the monolith and the aqua bricks and the water soluble graphite. So I know you can layer on top of these. The next thing I got is what? Do you see that name? Jack Richardson. Jack Richardson Soft Pastels. This is a half stick sample set of 18 and it comes with six hand rolled half stick pastels, six professional medium soft sticks, and six professional semi hard sticks. So it's beautiful packaging. And what? Do you see how beautiful those are? Yeah. And I don't know about you, but these look an awful lot like the, um, unison half sticks. I, I don't know if unison makes this. Um, 
on the box it says it's made in China, so I have no idea. But uh, I know that Richeson here in the States is the distributor for Unison. I know Unison is a British and English brand, but I know that they distribute here. And these look very similar to Unison pastels to me. Not that I have a lot of experience with Unison, but uh, it's, it says it's made in China, so I don't know if it's just put together there or how that, I don't know. It's maybe all made in China, I don't know. This looks extruded. These are obviously like made and extruded, but the nice thing is, is they all come with their color numbers so I can buy new ones. And they do have some larger sample sets available. And I like these that they have all the different kinds. So it's got the, the, the soft, the medium soft, and then the like semi hard. So I can get a lot of use out of these. I feel like, and if, if I end up liking this, they have some sets of 36 and they're like 50 bucks, but they come with other accessories and stuff. This is 19.99. If you're looking to get into soft pastels and just want a few to play around with, this is probably a good set. I am trying to expand my collection. I already have the Mumio set, but I really wanted some uh, kind of even higher grade. And so I thought this was a good option to, to go with. So last, but certainly not least, I made my first purchase of Holbein. Holbein is a Japanese brand, and I wanted to get some more fluid acrylics because I didn't really have very many, and I don't know about you, but I'm sort of discovering that I'm on one of two ends of the spectrum. Well, I'm on both ends of the spectrum. I'm nowhere in the middle, really, is the way I should put it. I either like my acrylics to be uh, very heavy body to the point where I can do kind of impasto techniques. I like Liquitex heavy body. I like golden heavy body. I really like Lucas pasto krills which are extremely heavy body, but they're all buttery and thick and beautiful. Or I like a really fluid acrylic. I like golden high flow. I like golden fluid. I like, I do like Liquitex soft body. It's, it's pretty good. It really is. And so I was like, I wanted to try some more fluid acrylics. Cause slowly but surely I'm trying to upgrade some of my paints as I go along. And Holbein is really cool in that they have some colors that are sort of harder to get a hold of and I just don't see as often in a fluid type of acrylic or soft body. So I got Paraline Maroon and they do have this watch right here. And I'll go ahead and tell you this is a Series C. So most of their acrylic pigments are acrylic paints and a lot of their a lot of their paints are single pigment. So if you're and they do have watercolor, if you're a watercolorist, if you're an acrylic painter, I I think they have oil paint even, and I'm pretty sure they have like pastels and stuff too. But the, the pastels don't really count. But any of those three, we really like a lot of single single pigment paints because if we mix things with multiple pigments together, sometimes we get mud. So to avoid that, single pigments are in general best. But I got, this is a single pigment and they have some amazing colors. They have a lot of quinacridones, perilines, pyroles. The pyroles I have are beautiful by the way. Seriously, uh, this is a Series C. This is Pyrrole Rubin, and I've never ever seen this color. Also, a single pigment. This is a Mirror Gold. This is Series B, also a single pigment. Isn't that the most beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? I love that. I'm so easy to make happy, aren't I? You just give me a beautiful color. This is Series A, and this is also a single pigment. This is Manganese Blue Nova. I've never seen ever manganese blue nova or manganese blue like in an acrylic liquid i'm like what so excited so, this last one is my <clears throat> only one that is not a single pigment and it is only a uh, two pigment uh, ratio so i'm not really concerned about it to be honest but i'm really excited to have gotten that and at the time if you ordered if you got three uh, fluid acrylics from holbein dick Blake would throw in a free uh, number 10 round brush. This is a really nice brush. I went online to look and see if Holbein even made this brush or had like more, but all I could find on Blick was their sets of um, pastel brushes. And this is just, this is a really nice brush by the way. So I don't know if it's still going to be available because my luck is by the time this gets up, it's like two months after I actually got all the stuff and I'm already playing with it and making things that are so exciting.
I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video, this haul. Uh, if you have any suggestions of like water-based media or um, brands you think you want that I would like or to try, leave it in the comments below. If you want to see reviews of some of this stuff, if you want to see how this Triart Gesso Sludge works out, let me know. I'm happy to show you. Whatever. And I will talk to you later. Do me a huge favor. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.